this is uh, the church I was raised in, uh, New Sardis Primitive Baptist Church. The difference between a Primitive Baptist and a regular Baptist is the Primitive Baptist practice as part of their sacrament, uh, the washing of feet. So every time we have a communion, we have the washing of the feet. Uh, it is a symbol of uh, servant leadership when uh, Christ washed the disciples' feet in John 13 chapter. Uh, this church sits in the middle of Mount Pleasant, uh, the Mount Pleasant community. It is the Mount Pleasant community it has the highest crime rate in the city of Cleveland. And if you look around, this is a working class neighborhood with not everybody's working these days. It's a drug infested neighborhood. We have had several children die as a result of shootings, uh, getting caught in the crossfire. So I figured it necessary to move back in this neighborhood, the neighborhood in which I grew up, to do ministry. And uh, let me show you my church location. This is the location for the Growing Church of Christian Experience. It is owned by uh, my mother church, the church that I grew up in, the land, and they uh, know I come up with crackpot ideas and they decided to facilitate this idea. This is a community gathering place. Uh, they own three lots together and uh, this was like a, a garden gathering spot. And if you remember the, uh, the scripture in Psalms 100, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Bless his name. Apparently, somebody has been here blessing his name. And this is the usual uh, activity as of today. You see, the uh, my cameraman is, is is person is afraid of grass. Can you believe? So, for some reason, she didn't want to get close. Come on! Uh, they apparently have been having communion here uh, quite liberally. So, this is the, the courtyard for the growing Church of Christian experience. Okay, uh, you see the side, the back of the church there, and if we walk a little bit further, see over there is the uh, gas station slash liquor store slash drug store, because so you can get any kind of drugs you want. Uh, over at that gas station and it's the probably the best entertainment in this community because uh, on Saturday nights uh, till four or five o'clock in the morning it's a show if you've ever seen uh, Star Wars and if you recall the star bar scene where all of the aliens are in one bar you go over there and you'll see that on Saturday nights. 
and it's right next, uh, conveniently, uh, right next to Andrew J. Rickoff's school, the only school, uh, only public school in this community. Uh, all those have been closed. We hope to be up and running by April 2018, by the latest.